Good evening and welcome to the Iris Art Show brought to you from Scientology Community Centre here in Dublin. And stay tuned, you're in for a treat. We've got a wonderful artist on here this evening. Yes, tonight we have the pleasure of introducing a remarkable singer-songwriter hailing from the southwest of Ireland, Kate Deneen. With her captivating blend of intricate accompaniments and introspective lyrics, Kate has carved out a unique and mesmerising sound. She emerged victorious in the prestigious Noel Brazel songwriting competition with her track Great Escape. Kate has graced numerous stages from the Battle for the Burning Lake, Ballinmore Fringe and Cork Folk Festival. Having supported acclaimed acts such as Mark O'Reilly, The Needables and Neon Atlas, Kate Starr continues to rise. She's set to release a series of singles and her highly anticipated second EP this year. Prepare to be entranced by the immense talent and rising star that is Kate Deneen. <laughs>
This next song is called Sorry. Goodbye. 
wish you from my mind so you won't see how much it meant to me I can't live up to what you'd expect me to my mask I'm going now to the wide world and if anyone asks you haven't heard of this girl not a single curl not a nun She wanted, she's now guy. She's fine, she's doing fine, she's feeling fine. She's walking fine, she's talking fine, she's looking just fine, she's living fine, she's breathing fine. Standing on the platform And my friends there Getting on That train So I stay with no direction It's directionless I remain And they're all getting married Side of a boy's head, and my mom says, Get your skates on. Do you really think it's going to hell? Cause I'm fine, I'm doing fine, I'm feeling fine. Walking fine, I'm talking fine, I'm looking just fine, and I'm living fine, and I'm breathing fine. Time slipping through me I'm not where I thought I'd be Time slipping through me I'm not where I thought I'd be Time slipping I'm going to do two more songs, and this next one is called Good Guys.
You don't know what you do to me, you say As you left And love begets pain So it ends now But you don't know what love is It's a fear of falling and jumping anyway Cause you don't know what love is Yeah, it's a fear of risking it all But you're one of the good guys You're one of the heroes You're going around saving me from myself You're riding in on a white horse A real keeper And doing for others what you never do for yourself Yeah, you're one of the good guys I woke up crying on the bus home My head on a stranger's shoulders And he wiped his sleeve And moved his seat to over But I don't want to get off or go home Cause that's when it hits you You're all alone You don't know what love is It's a fear of falling and jumping anyway You don't know You're one of the good guys You're one of the heroes You're going around saving me from myself You're riding in on a white horse A real keeper And doing for others what you never do for yourself yeah, You're one of the good guys You're one of the good guys You're one of the good guys you're one of the good guys. 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 Nice to know it's there and I, I 
take it out sometimes. I take it out sometimes. And I dream of getting out of here. Cause I don't remember who I am. And the moral high ground ain't the place I can stand. I need a day off. I need a day off. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Cause it's Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. Wow, definitely. Um, this mystery, this mystery about her voice and about it. when I'm watching her singing, she has like that mystery in her face and you want to hear more about her, you know? And definitely entranced. You're entranced by watching her. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And when, even when I was hearing the sound checks, um, I was really interested and looking forward to it, especially with the, the finger picking style and the whole lot. And our voice is definitely unique and we're looking forward to talking Absolutely. to her. Absolutely. <laughs> You're very, very welcome, Kate. How are you? Good, thank you. Thanks for having great me. Great to have you here. Thanks Absolutely for joining us. Great yeah. to have you. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Thank you. I'm, I'm very, very, I'm super impressed. <laughs> super impressed. Um, I'd like to start off the interview uh, as in how did you get started? Um, was there a family member? Was it just yourself? Um, did you get inspiration for some, from somebody? Um, my family, I think, was always into music. Um, my mom was a singer um, in choirs and stuff. And my dad was really like into you know, buying CDs and having loads of music on in the car and the house and everything when we were growing up. Um, and I kind of went the traditional, like learned to whistle, learned piano and then eventually started learning guitar. But I was a really like quiet and shy teenager, so I never sang or kind of, you know, wanted to be kind of center stage almost. So um, when I was about 17, I think, um, there was a competition on national radio to do a cover version of Teenage Kicks. And I was listening to the ad one night and I just got this idea, I was like, I could do that. So I went up to my room and like started working on the song and I came downstairs to my parents and I was like, I've, you know, come up with this cover version of this song. And they were kind of like, what <laughs> you know you can you can sing <laughs> and I played it for them and they were like really impressed and I played it for my guitar teacher and he encouraged me to record it and it um yeah it got into the like top five in that competition so that kind of made me go oh okay you know people like what I do or what I could do so that kind of inspired me to start songwriting and were you long playing the guitar at that point um when about three start? years or so oh, yeah yeah, okay. mm. yeah. And the mm -hmm. songs you did tonight, I haven't heard them songs before. Are they your own songs? Yeah, they're all my own okay, songs. Okay, yeah. so that makes sense. Mm. Like you know, I love your arrangements to them and that. Like you know, as I say, like that that the, the bass string going all the way through and finger picking. You don't yeah. hear too many people doing fing or finger picking a lot anymore. Like you know, yeah. like we don't get tend to see them too much on no. the show anyway. No, mm. I think it's. I suppose uh, when I started learning guitar first, I learned classical. So I think that's probably where it kind of evolved from. That was kind of what I knew, and that's what I feel comfortable doing. I'm actually probably a bit weird in that like I'm less comfortable strumming than I am like finger style because that's just what I know I suppose. You know mm. just even one of the one of the songs you were singing and you were doing like was an open tune and I think you were hitting an A string all the way along and um, when I just listened to the bass because I'm, I'm a guitar player myself I think if I'm right like you know yeah um, it's just it's really cool arrangement that you came up for it like you know and are Thanks. you sitting down and obviously having to work out these arrangements and chords or do you get all that from the classical training? Um, yeah I guess I just kind of I don't know, kind of, I suppose, messing around, kind of come up with things, yeah, or yeah. just like the sound of something, yeah. It's really mm. good. So I see that actually you've got, so for Hot Press, is it, for 2023? Yeah. That to do with a song, an award for your song. Is that the one that I, that I love, Fetch My Mask, I'm Going Out to the Wide World? Um, is that the one? That wasn't the one for no. Hot Press, it was Good Guys. Good yeah, Guys. Yeah, which is the second last one I played there, I think. Well, that's great that yeah. you have an award coming up, isn't it? Or um, you're in for an award, is it? It was, I think it was two years ago now. Oh, was it two years yeah, ago? Yeah, it was, um, they had like Ireland Music once, so that was picked 
as one of their kind of local heroes songs. Yeah. Excellent. But they also have me pinned as hot for 2023. See, that's is, what I said. Yeah. That's where I got confused. Hot yeah. for 2023. I like that. Hot for 2023. Yes, wow. That's me. And so obviously, <laughs> while I'm, I'm after mentioning that song, Fetch My fetch my Mask, I'm going out to the wide world. Mm. And I think a lot of people can identify with that. I, I definitely think when it comes to me, and Stephen will tell you that, when it comes to me, I always have my sunglasses on. So I think yeah. that's my way of going out into the wide world. <laughs> yeah. It may, may not be the mask. Mm. So I love that song. I just love the sentiment yeah. of it. It was kind of about, well, when I was writing it first, I was thinking a lot about social media and how when we're on social media, we portray this amazing version of ourselves, you know, that's like really happy or really, you know, everything's going great. We don't show the other side. Like often I'll find people will say to me, God, you know, you're doing so well, you know, everything's going great. Wow, you have all these gigs, but they don't see the days that I'm at home, you know, getting rejection emails or, you yeah. know, putting in the practice or you know, they don't see the other side of what's happening. And I think that's kind of where that line came from. It's like just you know, let's put on the mask, let's present the best version of ourselves and head out. Kind I think of it's thing. an Irish thing as well. You know, when we yes. say, how are you doing? And someone says, well, not doing too well. OK, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're running, exactly. the, running away from you, like, you know, yeah. they don't actually think, mean think, it, like, you know. I think the majority of musicians, we all like, it is a difficult business. Mm. It's not like, I know it's like show business, but it is kind of like show business. Yeah. It, it'd be, you know, because um, when you're on stage, you have to have your best face on. Always, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you done much traveling with the music? Um, just around Ireland mainly, yeah. So um, I played in Kilkenny, Cork, Kerry, obviously. Um, yeah, you're from Kerry because when yes. the intro just says you're from the southwest, but you're from Kerry. Yeah, yeah. yeah Trilly, Trilly, is that what you said? Yeah, yeah okay, mm -hmm. that's Trilly. It's, that's a bit away from here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you living here now? Yeah, yeah, live in Dublin. Are you long mm -hmm. up in Dublin? Yeah, a good while now. Oh, wow. Good few years, yeah. Mm. When uh, did you. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> When did you realise that you could write songs? Because obviously you started with guitar or did you start with music first? How, what, what came first? Um, I don't know. Like when I was a kid, I used to love writing poetry. I was going to say to yeah. you, I bet you, you liked writing poetry. <laughs> I was actually going to say that. Yeah, so I don't know, it wasn't very good, but... <laughs> well, from, I suppose. from listening to those lyrics, you're very good. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think probably that kind of maybe. And then with when, I think when I had done that arrangement of that song, kind of, and I realized I could arrange a song in my own style, then I thought, well, I could probably write something. That's kind of how I started trying. Have you changed mm. any of your poetry into songs that you wrote when you were younger? No, no. I don't think I <laughs> <laughs> want to hear that. <laughs> have, you, have you done mm. much recording? Um, yeah, so I released an EP in 2015. Um, it was a four track live EP. And then I have, I'm kind of doing a series of single releases now, just the way that everything is, it kind of seems to be better to release singles than EP, but um, it's going to kind of come together in July. I'm releasing a six track EP, which I think all the tracks I did tonight are from that, yeah. Okay, mm. great. So we're the first to hear them, are we? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Have you got other um, people playing on the music with you, or is it all completely solo you're done? Um, when I gig, it's usually solo, but yeah, I work with um, Ronan and Alex from Beardfire. Um, they do all my recording with me and sometimes they'll back me at gigs as well. When I was watching you on Instagram, uh, I saw that you did a Coldplay cover. It's beautiful. How mm. did you do that? What Was it something you wanted to sing? Um, no, the guy, he reached out to me on Instagram and it was we like we've never actually met in real life, which is so funny. So he messaged me and was like, oh, do you want to um, do a a cover song like I really like your sound and stuff and I was like yeah why not because during COVID I'd invested in some like recording gear at home and I was you know wanted to see how it worked and all so um yeah he just sent me the tracks and I did my tracks over it and then we did the video like I recorded in my house he recorded in his house and like I still haven't wow. <laughs> it's cool the way it goes to be able to do that though isn't it yeah. like, you don't have to I suppose I know it's putting, crazy putting like, the studios out of business yeah. to be able to do that but mm. like you know people are learning and yeah. Like, you know, yeah. To, yeah. To Did you do a crash corner? course? I believe because a few guests we've had on had, hadn't a clue how to operate anything, yeah. and mm. the minute like we were all shut down, it was like you know let's let's try this out because yeah. we all had time. Well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Can you operate it yourself? Well, obviously you can. I can. Yeah. Like I wouldn't. I mean, I probably yeah. wouldn't record my own single on it, but I like I can do tracks kind of handy enough now. Yeah. So you can send a vocal and somebody can mix it for you. Yeah, words. exactly. Yeah. Like even the band I play with. Um, our last single, I recorded the vocal at home myself, you know, and then again, someone mixed it like, right. yeah. Tell us about the Noel Brazel, if I'm pronouncing it right, uh, the sing competition. 
Yeah, that was a competition I entered. It was a couple of years ago now. I went down to Cork kind of on a whim, like I entered it and then went down one night. I remember after work, I was like sweating trying to get down the motorway. <laughs> I think I like got changed in a petrol station, but the petrol station was closed. So I just got out of the car and kind of like wiggled into my dress, like on the way down and got down there. I think we were the like, I think I was the, like the last person to perform because we were so late, like we missed most of the show already. And um, yeah, we ended up winning it, which was kind of wild. <laughs> and you were the last one. So like, you arrived late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I often wonder about like a singing competition. Do mm. you want to be first and then maybe forgotten about, or do you want to be last and maybe they're sick of listening to everybody? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's kind first of where, 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 where should, yeah, where yeah, should you be located to win it? Like, you know, but it obviously worked because yeah. you were doing you were doing the job. Obviously, like mm. you know, so that you brought them alive again. I'm sure at the end of it. Yeah. Like, you know? I thought you meant come first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but where do you want to bring the music? Do you want to, I'm sure you, like everybody else, you want to bring it abroad and the whole lot and or what are your yeah, plans? Yeah, like, I mean, you know, just for me, like music, it's all about connection. So even just finding people to connect with and that like enjoy it, that feel the same way, you know, like that's what I love about music. I love when I, you know, I'll have like a playlist on Spotify and a song just connects with you and it, you're like, oh my God, I feel that exact same feeling. You know, I I love if, if one person hears a song and connects with it in that way, to me, that's just amazing, you know. Um, but obviously, the opportunity to gig and to travel is is always appreciated. Yeah, of course. Is the music release already? Is that on the likes of Spotify or the, yes, the, the, yes. it's already mm. like so the CDs are disappearing? Have you a favorite song of mine, of yours, and maybe of yeah. somebody else's? I think of mine, it might be that one that you picked. The one that well, I like, Millennial. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, I, like I love that. and the recording I have of it's really lovely. It's real lush and it's got kind of strings and all this like nice stuff on it. Which I like Sorry as well. Mm, yeah. What? What's that about? Obviously being sorry, but like, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good question, wasn't it? Well done. Well done, me. Good interpretation, yeah. <laughs> Worked that out. Um, I actually wrote it, my friend, a friend of mine was going through a breakup and it was just one of those, like it was a long time ago now, like real um, early 20s kind of one where like, you know, this guy was kind of messing her around and he seemed to really like her, but then he'd also do something really stupid and, mm. um, so I kind of was wondering, like, what is going on in his head? So I tried to write the song from his perspective, you know, to try and understand, like, what he was going through or what, what that was about. So it's kind of about that, like, you you really care about someone, but you can't stop doing the wrong thing, essentially. That's yeah. what it's about, yeah. What about five years from now? Where would you like to be? Um, still making music, still writing, yeah. still being creative, though, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, <laughs> I'm just wondering, is there, is there other goals or other things you'd like to achieve? Well, obviously, we all want mm. to achieve things in our career, but is there anything in your head that you'd like to have achieved, maybe? by? I'd love to play, like, a big sold-out gig, you know? That would be nice. I'm sure that's going to happen for you. <laughs> Definitely Thanks. a good call. Absolutely, mm. no doubt about it. <laughs> well, look, we've just got the nod just coming close to the end of the interview. Just where are people going to find you? Is it normal social media? You've said Spotify already. And Spotify, Instagram, um, Facebook, TikTok. My teenage cousins, they say they see my TikToks, but they're too embarrassed to like them. So that's a uh, <laughs> <laughs> good, good sign, I'm sure. What, have you got another gig lined up today? Yeah, um, I'm playing at K-Fest in Clorglin in June. Um, and I'm doing a gig in Whelan's on the 28th of June. Oh, Whelan's in Dublin? Yeah. Yeah, OK, that'd be a good one, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, look, thanks very much yeah. for coming on the show. Thanks I really so appreciate you. it. Thanks, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. So listen, that was a wonderful evening we had here. Hope you enjoyed it at home. Um, and we look forward to seeing you next week. On behalf of myself, Stephen and the crew, thank you very much. Good night. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Good night.